program cause a person or animal to behave in a predetermined way. Arrange according to a plan or schedule. Calibrate to adjust precisely for a particular function. What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. Now, when you decided to be a photographer, what was the reason? I can 100% sure say it probably wasn't for financial reasons. Not saying that you can't make a living off photography. And in fact, I made a video giving you tips on how I can link right there, which is why I put my hand there. I didn't then just anyway, this video right here. So I'm pretty sure that wasn't the reason. Usually when people do things for financial reasons, if that's the career path they want to go through, they usually say they want to be a doctor or they want to be a lawyer. And then they go into that career. And most people that's doing it for only financial reasons end up hating their life. It's just the way it goes. But no, you decided you wanted to be a photographer because you wanted to capture the world how you see it through your eyes. And that's that's kind of special. I'm pretty sure you have a photo that kept you up all night staring at it. A photo that if someone else seen, they probably wouldn't feel the same way that you did. Photography is a personal relationship that we have with ourselves. Everyone may not understand it, but when you run into a few people that looks at your photos the same way you do, it's beautiful. But we often lose that. Now, if you're a photographer that don't charge or don't view this as a business, then good news. You probably aren't compromised. This is still a passion, the same passion that it was when you first started. In fact, you probably don't care what anybody thinks of your work at all. Doesn't matter to you. But if you ever charged a single dollar or translate this to whatever currency your country has, you may be compromised. I started photography in 2009 when I moved to New York City. I moved from Pensacola, Florida in a very country town. Now, as soon as I got there, I was amazed by everything I seen, all of the tall buildings, all of the people, the different cultures speaking different languages. I just wanted to capture the world, capture New York City through my eyes. Um, my work was very dark and moody. Uh, that's always what I gravitated to, towards music, towards any piece of art. Anything that was real dark and real moody was something that just spoke to me. Um, I started showing my family a lot of my photos and I remember like my mother telling me that I would never make it because my work was just, it wasn't what people were doing. It wasn't people smiling. It didn't show people being happy. It wasn't normal. It wasn't what people were programmed to see. At that time, I really didn't care. I was into learning photography, learning light, learning how to retouch. Money just wasn't my main focus in photography. I was more interested in creating something from an idea and turning it into something physical. It is no greater feeling than imagining something and turning it into something that you can actually see or feel. Then I got older. And with age comes responsibility. I developed this unique style, people would call it. And when they saw my work on Instagram, whether they saw my name or not, they knew Ryan Troy took that photo. But that didn't pay the bills. So what I did was I start taking events. I started doing birthday parties, baby showers, you name it. And from there, I started actually getting booked. People started wanting to book me to do their events, but even more, they wanted me to do their portraits. Now, these are the people that saw me at their events or at events of their friends, and that's why they booked me. They didn't see my Instagram and see my unique style and decide, hey, I want to book him because I really love his style of photography. And that's where I messed up. That's where I went wrong. So I went into the portrait sessions that I was doing with them giving them my dark my moody type of photos and what I would actually get back in return is them saying yeah these photos are too dark I don't I don't like these photos and with me I can't really speak for you but with me anytime at that point where I was getting criticized I like I just I took it in so much to where every photo I would edit I would have like a group of friends some photographers some not 
um, because it's important to, or at least I feel, it's important to have that person that doesn't know anything about photography so they could give you an honest opinion on what they think. You know, if if you're a photographer and I give you something, you know every single thing that I did to that photo. Sometimes you got to have that person that doesn't understand Photoshop, doesn't understand aperture, shutter speed, ISO, etc. And let them give you what they see as just a regular person. So I would send photos to them and ask, all right, does this look a little bit too dark? Um, is it too bright? What is it that you think of it? And from there, what I pretty much did was I programmed myself to be this portrait photographer that everybody would like like everybody will like the work I, I stepped away from my style of photography and start going more into what paid what people were paying for and at that point that's kind of sort of I guess what you could say I went into that doctor or that lawyer field where it's like okay this makes the money so I'm gonna do this but now I hate doing photography and with that came me quitting or let's just say stop doing it for a while and then come back and then stop doing it again for a while because at that point I wasn't myself I wasn't doing the things I was doing that made me fall in love with photography but money started to come in and lots of money started to come in from it but when you are doing something that you don't like it's just like the passion just isn't it's not there so I came back again from one of the breaks. I was on Instagram on my Explore page and all I seen was beauty work, just so much beauty work. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with the photographer Sarah Brown, but that was like my drug. That was my addiction. I loved her work. I reached out to her. I bought the same lens that she was using. I used the same light and setup. I literally recreated her work. Even things that she did, I redid it with other people. You know, it was it was me programming myself once again to be what was on my Instagram explore page. I wasn't being myself. I was just doing beauty, just doing what I felt everybody wanted to see because of how popular it was at that time. Then I burned out once again and took another break. Then I came back again, February 2021. I came back and I said, I will do things my way this time. And even if I do portraits that everybody wants and everybody likes, I will always make time to continue to do my own creative things to keep me motivated and to keep me going. Um, I was in a brand new city here in Columbus, Ohio. Didn't really know any models like that, but my business just, it really started to boom. And I'm not really sure why. I mean, I don't have the exact formula of why my business is doing way better here than it was doing in New York City, but I am proud of it. Um, so that's that. But if it's one thing that is very important is if you into photography and you are charging, you are a business, make sure you continue doing the things that motivated you to pick up a camera in the first place. That is extremely important. And if not, you will keep taking breaks. You may give it up. And like I said, I've, I've put the camera down so many different times just because I felt I was doing what everybody else wanted to do and never anything that I wanted to do. I am a editorial portrait photographer. I love moody photos. That is my type of photography. And that is the photography that I will continue to do. Um, even when I do birthday parties, even when I do graduations, everything that's happy and smiling that I'm that I'm doing for them, I will always make time to do side projects for myself where I can do my type of work. And YouTube honestly helps me out with that a lot um, because everything I do for this channel is mostly not client work. It's all what I want to do. And it gives me a reason to. It also gives me a bigger audience to show my stuff to and everything. So if you like this video, please leave this video with a like. If you made it this far, I man, if you made it this far, you're the MVP. Um, and subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Listen, I will be doing so many different things with this channel. Um, it's kind of hard for me to just niche down to one thing. I really love doing photographer challenges just because I really like being around other photographers and seeing how they work. Um, 
once again, if you like this video, go ahead on and leave it with a like and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.